What's up, guys? Today, we're just going to talk about the V-Kings NFT project on VeChain. It is uh, an OG project, to say the least. Um, they minted in late 2021, and what it is, it was a team of four developers. They got together. They built this project, V-Kings, and shortly after, they realized, well, we need a marketplace to trade these on. So they started building VC their marketplace and over the course of time they they hosted other mints they've hosted a lot of pfp mints they don't do any self uploads they don't do um, one-on-one art they do pfp collections and they are the highest volume marketplace on v chain their whole uh mo with this project is for vikings to be the greatest beneficiary of all the transactions on vc so after they got rolling and got things looking how they wanted, they launched their VC token, VSEA. And what it is, it is funded by one half of 1% of every transaction on the marketplace. So 0.5% of every transaction buys VC and burns it. What they then do with that VC is there, it's got a number of things that it's used for, but the first use for it is to pay vikings passive income so you buy a viking you go stake it you get one quarter of a vc per day per viking and then there's some other variations of vikings that have that have uh came out of burns and um two three three burn events now they've had one's ongoing um and they generate higher amounts but a base viking generates one quarter of a vc per day which right now uh, is worth about two vet. So you're getting five cents a day per V King. But remember what I said, this is one half of 1% of every single sale. So as sales volume ticks up, like we saw earlier this year, we were seeing 1 million vet per day. Um, the price of VC was about 25 or 30 VC token to one vet. Right now, it's back down to about eight. Volume is down right now, so it makes good sense. As these gain more popularity, these NFTs and VeChain gains more popularity, more sales volume comes through. It doesn't matter if not a single V-King is sold for a whole year. If you're holding V-Kings, you're going to collect that passive income. No ifs, ands, or buts. So, V-Kings are not the only ones that can benefit from vc any project that lists on vc can stake for vc for their community and the way they stake is uh there's a number of different ways so if we jump in here to the arcade um you can see they got burn events they got their staking they got a recycler breeding events and satoshi dice which is not happening um but on their dashboard, you can see their total supply, the amount that's been burned, um, your balance, and then the current swap ratio. So it's it's not not bad right now. It's It's been down to about four or so at, at one point. And then the top burning collections, which we're going to get into now. Up here, the NFT Recycler. I got a short tutorial on that. If you're interested, look through my tutorial sections. Um, but what it is, is you send VC X amount of, you know, however many NFTs you want, you get on the schedule. And what it does is you stick in a rug pull NFT and it costs you VC. You stick in a rug pull NFT and it spits something else out. It might spit something out that's really good. I've gotten a V King out of there before uh, and it might just spit out another uh, low grade NFT or rug pull or uh, anything of that nature. So what that does is it just it keeps the ecosystem flowing. It keeps NFTs moving. It puts a use to these uh, rug NFTs and and uh, just less desirable NFTs. And so, like for my project, I just had one last weekend. So I set it up with VC. I sent I think like fifty three NFTs, and we well we burned three thousand one hundred seventeen VC. Which means that 
Uh, we didn't launch on VC. If you don't launch on VC, you have to burn for two months in a row to get staking for your community. So that's what we did is we burned last month. We're not stakeable. We're burning again this month. And the amount we burn will determine uh, the amount of emissions per token per day. So the more you burn, the higher you rank, the more your community benefits from this. So those are popular, the NFT recycler event, because it keeps your community involved. It keeps them hyped. It keeps them keeps them doing something um, and you're not stagnant. Then you got breeding events. That is another way to burn VC. You give, uh, you know, they'll do all the development work for you. Like I said, they're a team of four developers. They're on the spot. They're intelligent, very smart people, um, and always easy to get a hold of. So the breeding events, if you want to set that up, you send them the new art, you send them the parameters, and that's just another way for the community to go burn VC in the name of your project. Burn events, I think we all know what burn events are, but uh, like right now there's a, an ongoing burn event for uh, Ukiyo-e Warriors and War Dogs where they minted 777 pieces. They got several thousand on the back end. If you want to go uh, re-roll your NFT for a better one, you can pay X amount of VC, send in your NFT, and it'll spit one right back out for you. Another way that the community is uh, extremely engaged in burning, um, benefiting the community in turn. So this happens every single month. The top burners, uh, it gets pretty exciting. It's like horse races on the last day of the month, the last block of the month. Um, there's always a space. And um, so, yeah, it's definitely uh, very, um, I think it's very unique. And it keeps everybody kind of on their toes. It keeps everybody involved. There's not a lot of room to get stagnant because these communities want their leaders to be active and doing things. And this is a, a perfect opportunity. So we'll go and jump in and just see a, a thread that Brad wrote on Twitter a couple months ago on this. So this was uh, from January 15th. This is their token model. Uh, so first, a reminder of our utility token model devised to spur activity in the ecosystem with baseline utility derived from passive VC volume, half percent of every sale, events we host, which is recycler, recycler breeding, burning, NFT agnostic utilities. Um, they have a medium article, which we're pretty much covering in this video. So um, to obtain VC projects must burn VC through whichever means they can. D app integration, which we we have some projects that um, that do that. Uh, community events, raffles, poker events are popular. Burning, breeding, um, Discord bot integration, we have that in some of our discords. There's, I mean, and then just overall volume on VC. Like we said, the top ten burners each month will earn the most the following month. So here's an example. Smuzzies is a good uh, good example. So they have a. Uh, uh, dap where they do their three dables really cool if you haven't checked it out um three dables choose an owned nft select 3d scene or custom ai script get a dynamic nft minted for a small fee a portion of that fee buys and burns vc for smuzzies earning vc as a supplemental benefit so you'll see a lot of these um bigger projects on VChain hold a lot of smuzzies in their in their um, community treasury wallet and a lot of vkings in their treasury wallet well it's for this passive income for projects that they know are going to be burning uh, month after month this is all to say that we've created a system where we bear the burden of baseline utility and other teams need only to contribute in ways they know how so that's huge i'm not a developer um, I'm not technically inclined, but I'm able to burn in the name of my project for my community in ways that I know how. So they've really um, raised the bar with what they're doing here. And and like I said, you know, the sky's the limit on the price that VC can hit because it's all dependent on um, marketplace volume. So, I mean, we saw it 25, 30 to 1 when we were seeing million vet days, well, what happens when we see 10 million vet days? Um, these V Kings are going to be extremely valuable when that time comes. So here's an example. So this was, like I said, in January. So they were seeing 1 million vet days. 
which was burning 520 VC a day. And then you have teams competing to burn VC with events. So not only are we burning, you know, good amounts strictly through um, sales volume, but we also have all these teams burning. So, you know, there might be 15,000 VC burned through these different projects burning. So, I mean, there, there could be 20, 25, 30,000 VC burned in a month, depending on what all is going on that month. And then, like I showed you, that it's all in real time on their arcade. The takeaway, VeChain NFTs are in a unique position across crypto right now where they can have their own economy tied together by one token, VC. That then frees up holders vet liquid, driving market volume, burning more VC to give value NFTs to, and then it just keeps on cycling over and over. So this was a bullish VeChain ecosystem. So obviously none of this is financial advice. Anything can happen, but if you believe in NFTs and uh, what the future holds for VeChain, for VC, there's really no reason that VKings being the baseline NFT of VC, mm -hmm. the biggest beneficiary of the marketplace, uh, when we get a lot more volume, there's no reason those VKings won't hit 20, 25,000 vet, 30,000 vet, and we see you know, multi-million vet volume days. Um, these things are going to be worth a lot. So um, anyway, that's just kind of a, a, a brief overview of the project. Hope you guys found this helpful. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll continue bringing the content.